Episode 56 VU, July 15, 2024, which states pay the highest energy costs, unexamined healthcare costs. Razep view, home heating and home cooking should not be given extra points for degree of difficulty, unlike judging of gymnastics in the Olympics. Polluting home heating and home cooking by wood burning should not be given extra points because of the difficulty of logistics of obtaining wood to waste by burning, and the difficulty to the indigent and the fashionable middle class of the extra cost of heating with wood, and therefore indoor residential wood burning should not be given government subsidies. In episode 56 VU, 1, United States. Razep view. New Mexico may have the lowest energy cost of any United State, but the healthcare cost for heating with wood may overshadow the lowest state heating and cooling costs in 49th ranked Arizona and 50th ranked New Mexico. 2A, United States. New York Times. FAQ about climate change. How do you measure air quality? 2B, United States. Impact of secondhand smoke on air quality in partially enclosed outdoor hospitality venues. A review. 3A, B, California. 4, Colorado. 5, Georgia. 6A, B, Idaho. 7, Indiana. 8, Michigan. 9A, D, Montana. 10, New Jersey, 11A, B, New York, 12, Oregon, 13A, B, South Carolina and Utah, 14A, C, Washington, 15A, K, Canada, 16, Australia, 17A, B, United Kingdom, Scotland, 18, United Kingdom, Surrey, Action Fund launch to help tackle climate change, BBC, send your story ideas to Southeast Today at bbc.co.uk, or WhatsApp us on 08081 more on this story, Council to deter wood burning after DEFRA, 19A, G, India, 20A, I, PM 2.5 and human health. Main content. 1. United States. Razep view. New Mexico may have the lowest energy cost of any United State, but the healthcare cost for heating with wood may overshadow the lowest state heating and cooling costs in 49th ranked Arizona and 50th ranked New Mexico. However, the healthcare costs in Arizona and New Mexico are not covered in this article below. New York Times. Which states pay the highest energy costs? Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. A recent study ranked all 50 states based on the average monthly energy bill in each. Hint, it's better in the heat than in the cold. July 11, 2024. As temperatures hit record highs in parts of the country, energy bills are sure to follow. Air conditioning can help, but there's only so much you can do in 111 degree heat. Where do Americans pay the most for their energy? A recent study by Wallet Hub ranked the energy cost for homeowners by state, looking at the average monthly consumption and price of electricity, natural gas, home heating oil, and motor fuel. Motor fuel costs also included miles traveled and the number of drivers in the state. The data was sourced from government agencies and AAA. Wyoming has by far the steepest average monthly cost of energy, $1,591, because it consumes the most motor fuel and residential oil per capita, and has the highest monthly prices for both. The five most expensive states overall are 1. Wyoming, 2. North Dakota, 3. Iowa, 4. Montana, and 5. Minnesota, which have the highest heating oil prices, ranging from $396 to $1,087 a month. Hawaii, which ranks 29th overall, has the highest monthly cost of electricity, $204, and natural gas, $212, but also the nation's lowest consumption of both. Louisiana, 42nd, has the highest electrical consumption, while Alaska, 8th, among the coldest states, has the highest natural gas consumption, showing that heating is more expensive than cooling. The lowest energy bill is in New Mexico, where energy costs average $376 a month. New Mexico is ranked 49th for electricity costs, $103 a month, 47th for natural gas, $76 a month, and 47th for oil, $11 a month. The cost of power. The most and least expensive states based on their average monthly energy bills, including electricity, heating oil, natural gas, and motor fuel. Highest average monthly energy costs by U.S. state. 1. $1,591 Wyoming. 2. $840 North Dakota. 3. $798 Iowa. 4. $787 Montana. 5. $782 Minnesota. 6. $759 Massachusetts. 7. $750 Connecticut. 8. $716 Alaska. 9. $709 South Dakota. 10. $694 Virginia. 11. $690 Rhode Island. 12. $684 Utah. 13. $677 Alabama. 14. $669 Pennsylvania. 15. $665 Maryland. Lowest average monthly energy costs by U.S. state. 36. $538 Nevada. 37. $533 Georgia. 38. $533 South Carolina. 39. $524 Tennessee. 40. $477 Oklahoma. 41. $476 California. 42. $474 Louisiana. 43. $470 Colorado. 44. $462 Florida. 45. $457 Mississippi. 46. $453 Nebraska. 47. $437 Texas. 48. $436 Kansas. 49. $400 Arizona. 50. $376 New Mexico. 2. United States. New York Times. FAQ about climate change. How do you measure air quality? 
Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against with smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Burning things, whether it's coal in a power plant or trees in a wildfire, and Razep adds, burning wood in an indoor residential wood stove, and burning wood in a biomass wood burning power plant, and burning wood in a campfire or in a backyard or beach fire pit, which wood burning is 90% PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. Wood burning tested in the cleanest burning wood stove in the United Kingdom, the eco design wood burning stove emits 2.8 times the CO2 and PM2.5 as the fossil fuel coal burning, and wood burning emits 450 times the PM2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas burning. Resident-owned Purple Air PM2.5 monitors, which cost under $300, hyperlocally hung from the eaves of yards of near neighbors, can detect the PM2.5 from nearby indoor residential wood burning that enters the yards of near neighbors and sickens them. EPA $100,000 regulatory monitors are usually located too far away from indoor residential wood burning to detect the PM2.5 from indoor residential wood burning in a residential neighborhood, can create a cocktail of pollution in the air we breathe. This combination of pollutants from burning wood is measured in a standard way by the EPA $100,000 regulatory monitors, and Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor data is added to U.S. EPA maps of smoke and fire to obtain air quality indexes whose data is available to the general public. A standard way to measure it is the air quality index, AQI. Here's what the index does, and how to interpret it. The AQI measures the density of five pollutants including particulates. It was established by the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, in the United States to communicate the cleanliness of the air people are breathing. The scale runs from zero, very good, to 500, very bad. A number above 200 is very unhealthy. Wildfires are a common cause of extended periods of unhealthy air. When inhaled, PM2.5 can increase the risk of heart attacks, cancer, and acute respiratory infections. The air quality index tracks these fine particles with a measurement called PM2.5, a reference to particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers. Standard N95 masks can help by filtering some particulate matter, but they won't block all wildfire pollutants. 2B, United States. Impact of secondhand smoke on air quality in partially enclosed outdoor hospitality venues, a review. BMC Public Health, Biomed Central. Major air pollutants from e-cigarette vapor include PM2.5. Conclusions. The reviewed studies indicated that air quality within outdoor hospitality venues where smoking is permitted is unlikely to meet current World Health Organization, WHO, ambient air quality guidelines for PM2.5. Customers and staff in outdoor hospitality venues with active smoking and in adjacent outdoor and indoor non-smoking areas are potentially exposed to secondhand smoke at levels exceeding the guidelines. Stronger smoking control policies are recommended for outdoor hospitality venues to protect the health of customers and staff from harmful secondhand smoke exposure. 3A, California. Fire advisory for Rocky Mountain Forest Area. My Mountain View Now. Fire permits will be issued on a case-by-case -case basis, while safe wood burning campfires and backyard fire pits are still permittable. 3B, California, San Francisco. Razep View. Polluting wood burning encampment is evicted. From the article, as Rainbow Family Camp departs, hippies say it's not cool how California treated them this year. S-Fist. Wood burning and propane stoves, as well as shitters that are dug. Fire prone. The first location was also met with a planned car. Hundreds of modern-day hippies who form a commune known as the Rainbow Family are being kicked out of their campsites at a California national forest with the threat of fines and jail time. 4. Colorado, Douglas County. Amid hot, dry weather, Douglas County Sheriff and Castle Rock issue fire restrictions. Colorado Community Media. Wood burning stoves, chiminius, fire pits, and charcoal smokers slash BBQs on private property away from combustibles. Professional fireworks. 5. Georgia, Savannah. Crews contain large structure fire near ports. WDOC. Black smoke filled the breaking. Crews working to put out fire in downtown Savannah. WJCL. Then with pellets inside the domes also went up in flames. From WJCL 22 News Hotel Thompson Camera, big, black smoke can be seen billowing from 6A, Idaho, Bench Lake. Update. Bench Lake fire nearly doubles in size to 150 acres. Idaho Mountain Express. The Bench Lake fire burning in the Sawtooth Wilderness west of Wood River Journal. 6B, Idaho, Redfish Lake. 40-acre wildfire burning near Redfish Lake prompts inlet campground evacuation. Idaho Mountain Express. The Bench Lake fire was burning in pine stands. Thursday evening. Wood River Journal. Wildfire burning near Redfish Lake measured at 66 acres Friday afternoon. Breaking news. The Bench Lake fire was burning in pine stands Thursday evening. Wood burning campfire. 7. Indiana. Plymouth. City Council approves open burn on Warana Drive. WTCA. The City of Plymouth has an ordinance that prohibits open burning with A. The customary burning of logs and other wood products in a residential. 97.40 burnings generally prohibited. No person shall start, kindle, cause, allow, or maintain any form of leaf burning, wood burning, or rubbish. 8. Michigan, Detroit. Wildfire smoke can cause health problems, even death. Detroit Free Press. Also avoid adding to indoor air pollution through things such as wood-burning stoves or fireplaces. 9A, Montana. Firefighting plane crashes in Montana Reservoir, divers searching for pilot. Yahoo News UK. From water to wood-burning stoves, 11 Green Challenges labor must solve the new labor government faces a massive task in seeking to repair the 9B, Montana, Helena. Horse Gulch Fire Burning Near Helena. ABC Fox Montana Point 10 Tanker Air Carrier at Horse Gulch Fire on July 10, 2024. Horse Gulch Fire Burning Near Helena reaches 7,500 acres. ABC Fox Montana. Helicopter Express Rotorcraft at Horse Gulch Fire on July 10, 2024. 9C, Montana, Missoula. Rosette View. 
In the midst of wildfire season in Montana, ignoring the threat to human health of wood burning, the wood products industry looks to generate income by operating biomass, wood burning, plants. There are clean alternatives for energy generation in 2024 such as wind, solar, geothermal, and hydroelectric power plants. From the article, wood products industry looks at biomass power generation to diversify offerings. KPAX. Biomass power generation is a renewable energy source, with the wood residuals being burned to heat a boiler which then pumps the steam into a turbine. 9D Montana, Helena. Aviation photographer reflects on amount of aerial firefighting aircraft over Horse Gulch. ABC Fox Montana, Helena, Montana. LB Wood has done lots of aviation photography over the years, but the Horse Gulch fire may be the most aerial firefighting. 10. New Jersey, Oakland. Illegal burning concerns Oakland. The retrospect, wood and other debris on their property. Feraldi said that he had seen the neighbor burning construction materials and leaving the fire unattended. 11A, New York, New York City. Air quality health advisory issued for New York City Metro and Long Island regions. New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, NY.gov reduce or eliminate outdoor burning and attempt to minimize indoor sources of PM2.5 such as smoking. Additional information on ozone and PM2.5 is available. 11B, New York, New York Times. Rosep View. Cooking with wood smoke is positively associated with machismo in this article. Machismo definition from the Spanish or Portuguese is the sense of being manly and self-reliant. See Razeb episode 5GVO12, Kenya, Turkana County, Calicall. Health issues surge due to smoke from fish preservation, wood fired, ovens. The locals have complained of poor eyesight, burning eyes, and dizziness, which are correlated with fish smoking. Daily Nation. Smoking in wood fired mud ovens. This method of preservation is particularly common in major centers and Calicall Town. Back to today's article. To compare and note the similarities of the unnecessary use of wood burning to smoke fish in modern New York City, and the polluting use of wood burning to smoke fish in Kenya is illuminating. In Kenya, wood burning to smoke fish has been banned since 2021 in certain parts of Kenya, due to the health effects of wood smoke on primarily the women and children who are most exposed to wood smoke while smoking fish. In Kenya, wood smoking cannot definitively be called an exercise in machismo, since it is done primarily by women. In 2024, the Kenyan government is providing alternatives to wood burning for fish preservation, primarily by providing liquefied petroleum gas. LPG, gas stoves, an imperfect but less polluting alternative to wood burning, in order to lower the level of PM2.5 pollution generated in fish cooking to preserve the fish and make it edible. That a modern country with clean alternatives for cooking like the United States would begin to wood smoke fish because it is a fad, a fashion, and a folly should be condemned as unnecessary promotion of a method of air pollution. If fish smoking is done commercially, it adversely affect the health of near neighbors of a fish smoking establishment, just as would fired pizza ovens adversely affect the health and lives of near neighbors. The clean electric alternative of an air fryer is mentioned in this article, and use of an air fryer is also described as easy in this article, but that clean method of cooking with an electric air fryer is irrationally dismissed in this article that instead promotes unnecessary, polluting wood burning in a modern country in 2024 when clean alternatives are available. From the article, excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization, July 12, 2024. Grilling is often associated with a certain brand of meat-centric, backyard machismo, but, really, cooking outside is for everyone, and has been since humans first applied flame to food, about 780,000 years ago. From the South American asado to the Indian tandoor, the fires are varied but often the process that surrounds them is communal. Some use raging heat, searing cuts of meat, or a tangle of vegetables on a planches or iron grate, while others smoke or braise low and slow in underground ovens, tank-style barbecues, or kit-out green eggs. Anything can be grilled, stone fruit, pizzas, parcels of banana leaf-wrapped fish, bouncy cubes of machi. It's not air fryer easy. Yet the effort is well worth it. Say the three chefs who share their favorite methods and recipes below. There's a romance to it. The smell of fish oil burning, mixed with wood smoke, says the chef. It doesn't get better than that. 12. Oregon, Malheur County. Crews continue to battle multiple blazes as dry thunderstorms with abundant lightning. Malheur Enterprise. The Bonita Fire is burning 9 miles southeast of Ironside and has consumed 1,000 acres. This includes campfires, debris burns, wood-fired stove. 13A, South Carolina. Lexington. Smoke advisory in Lexington after woods fire, YouTube. According to the county, a structure fire spread to a wood area near the intersection of Edmond Highway and Bluff Ridge Road. WLTX.com. 13B, Utah. Homeowners finding difficulty securing insurance as wildfire season intensifies. Kim Wyo. We don't have a wood-burning fireplace. We don't light off fireworks, he emphasized. For years ago, a fire in Northeast Lehigh brought flames. 14A, Washington, Aberdeen. Full burn ban in effect for Grays Harbor. KXRO News Radio. All burning, including recreational campfires, charcoal, and wood burning portable fire pits, is allowed. Alongside these restrictions, 14B, Washington, Douglas County. Stage 1 fire restrictions in place beginning July 11, 2024. Douglas County. Wood burning stoves within buildings only. Professional fireworks displays that are permitted according to Section 12 28 103 of the CRS. Fire. 14C, Washington, Wenatchee. No charges filed yet in Wenatchee Balsam Root Fire. News Radio 560 KPQ. Fireplace safety, flammable objects. Tip number one. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet from your fireplace or wood stove. 15A, Canada. Rosep View. Another hazard and risk of biomass wood burning is the PM2.5 emissions that harm human health. Just don't burn wood to begin with and avoid explosions due to biomass, wood, dust. Understanding the hazards and managing biomass dust risks. Canadian Biomass Magazine. 
Forward in pellet form, the ignition temperature can vary based on four key factors, one, type of wood, two, particle size, three, moisture content, and four. In addition, the improvement of wood burning technology for generating wood dust is highly combustible and a solid fire and explosion. 15B, Canada, Alberta. Alberta issues fire ban for entire forest protection area as extreme temperatures continue. CBC, under it, all fire permits issued by the Alberta government are now suspended or canceled, and all outdoor wood fires are banned. 15C, Canada, Alberta, Grande Prairie. Extreme fire hazard prompts fire ban from city of Grande Prairie. Daily Herald Tribune. Residents are prohibited from having outdoor wood fires such as campfires on public land, private land, in designated campgrounds, or backyard fire dash. Grande Prairie Forest Area Wildfire. Update. July 10, 2024. The Alberta Wildfire Block. Government of Alberta. Burning, if approved by a forest officer. Prohibited. All outdoor wood fires, including wood campfires on public land, private land, designated. Grande Prairie Forest Area Wildfire Update. July 13, 2024. Firesmoke.ca is an online tool that tracks wildfire smoke. Visit this. July 12, 2024. Fire in the forest. Call 310 fire. Burning, if approved by a forest officer. Prohibited. All outdoor wood fires, including wood. 15D, Canada, Alberta. High-level forest area update. July 12, 2024, 9 p.m. The Alberta Wildfire Blog, Government of Alberta. If you see smoke or flame in the forest and suspect it's a wildfire, call 310 Fire, 3473, immediately. All outdoor wood fires, including Wood Point 15E, Canada, British Columbia, Vancouver. Protecting Vancouver parks from wildfire starts with prevention. City of Vancouver. Any form of wood burning is prohibited. Use designated picnic sites. For guidance on fire safety in parks, visit vancouver.ca slash fire dash safety. If you spot a fire, smell or see smoke, immediately call 911 and report. 15F, Canada, Alberta. Slave Lake Forest Area Wildfire Update, July 11, 2024. The Alberta Wildfire Block, Government of Alberta. Some allowances can be made for essential agricultural and industrial burning, if approved by a forest officer. Prohibited. All outdoor wood fires. Visit www.firesmoke.ca to see where the smoke is coming from. Anyone. All outdoor wood fires, including wood campfires on public land. Canada. Alberta. Lightning sparks more wildfires in northern Alberta as firefighters face another tough day. CBC. Caption. EWF-061 is currently burning out of control 18 kilometers northeast of Wood Buffalo National Park. That fire was started by lightning. 15G. Canada. Alberta. Banff. Fire ban issued for Banff National Park. CBC News. If you see any wildfires, illegal campfires, or suspicious smoke, please report to Banff Emergency Dispatch. 403-762-4506. Outdoor wood burning. Banff National Park issues fire ban. Rocky Mountain Outlook. For the town, the fire ban includes wood campfires, wood barbecues, outdoor wood burning stoves, turkey fryers. Fire ban issued for Banff National Park amid hot, dry weather. City News Calgary. Wood burning stoves within fully enclosed permanent buildings are allowed under the ban. The fire ban will be lifted when conditions allow. Fire ban issued for Banff. CJWE, Alberta's best country. Wood burning stoves, wildfires, illegal campfires, or suspicious smoke can be reported to Banff Emergency Dispatch by calling 403 762 4506. Parts Point 15H, Canada, Alberta, Edmonton. Parts of province under fire bans as Albertans look to enjoy summer weather. City News Edmonton, which means that there are no wood burning fires or backyard campfires in any of the forest protection areas. These kinds of measures are put in Point 15I, Canada, Alberta. White Court Forest Area Wildfire Update, July 12, 2024. The Alberta Wildfire Blog, Government of Alberta. All outdoor wood fires, including wood campfires on public land visit www.firesmoke.ca to see where the smoke is coming from. Any 1.15J, Canada, Alberta. County moves to fire restriction. Lax St. and County. Wood burning smokers or other cooking appliances are still allowed again with continuous monitoring. Report any wildfire to 911 with exact. 15K, Canada, British Columbia. Black smoke and flames seen near Kalamalka Park from pile catching fire. Vernon News. Castanet. Wood pile catches fire. Large billows of black smoke and flames were seen near Kalmalka Beach on Friday night as Coldstream fire crews tackle Point 16, Australia, Victoria, Melbourne, Masterton. Masterton officially polluted for another five years. The Post, Rosette View. Ashburton is an affluent suburb of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Rosette View. The suggestions that only clean dry would be used for wood burning is not enough to stop PM 2.5 air pollution from wood burning. Wood burning should be replaced in Masterton with government incentives, with the clean alternatives of wind, solar, geothermal, and hydroelectric energy generation to an electric grid to power the truly clean energy source of heat pumps that work down to 40 degrees below zero and also function as cooling air conditioners. Excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity in relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. A 501c3 nonprofit organization, pollutants from fires, smoke, and chimneys all get trapped beneath this inversion layer. Wood burning techniques so that we've got clean. The blip means Masterton will remain a polluted airshed for at least another five years under legislation. The last time Masterton recorded a double breach of PM10 in one year was in July 2019, which locked the area in as a polluted airshed for five years. Masterton was three days away from no longer being classified as polluted under national air quality standards. But last Friday night, the readings of PM10 pollutants skyrocketed, reaching national standards for a second time this year. Changing habits this winter, what people could change was how they kept their homes warm in winter, a Masterton District Council spokesperson said. The council said since monitoring began in 2011, the number of high pollution days per year had been reducing, but that people needed to adopt better wood burning techniques so that we've got clean air to breathe during winter. Tips include cleaning chimneys before each winter, making sure wood is dry and untreated, and not shutting the fire dampener, air vent, overnight. 
People can check wood moisture levels using home health assessment kits, which are available at the Masterton Library. PM10 are small airborne particles produced by the combustion of wood. These particles can easily be breathed in. When the largest particles are inhaled, they get trapped in the nose and nasal passages and can cause irritation. Smaller particles, called PM2.5, can enter lungs and also reach the bloodstream, resulting in respiratory diseases, heart attacks, and lung cancer. So far this winter, there have been 24 days where PM2.5 exceeded the World Health Organization guidelines in Masterton. Exceeding the guidelines was not covered by the National Environmental Standards for Air Quality, NESAQ, but PM10 was. One strike rule. Only one breach per year was considered acceptable. Any further breaches meant an area would be labeled a polluted airshed for five years. Longley said many other countries had a tighter PM 2.5 standard. He said a proposal for new standards was on the desk of the last labor minister and got shelved with the election. 17A, United Kingdom, Scotland, Rosef view. Whether it is done quietly or with loudspeakers, it is the right thing to do to ban wood burning stoves in Scotland for reasons of human health over the fad, fashion and folly of unnecessary wood burning. There are government programs to provide the indigent with clean methods of home heating. There is a Scotland electric grid to which clean heat pumps can be connected. Saying something is essential when it is not essential is a lie, and life should be lived in a straightforward, honest manner, whether you live in a city or in a rural area. From the article, SNP quietly bans popular item in green crackdown with pensioners and firing line. MSN. Locals have blasted SNP slash green ban on essential with burning stoves as new plans rock rural Scotland. 17B, United Kingdom, Scotland. Raz F. U. Polluting the air of near neighbors shows contempt for fellow human beings who are near neighbors who risk illnesses and early deaths from unnecessary wood burning by wood burners who claim they are indigent and who falsely claim that wood burning is the only way they can warm their homes. The truth is that the government provides low income assistance for home heating and the clean alternative of heat pumps that work to 40 degrees below zero connected to an electric grid that extends to all rural areas is available in 2024. From the article, SNP ban on wood burning stoves in new homes shows contempt for rural Scotland. MSN, an SNP ban on wood burning stoves in new homes has been condemned as an attack on rural Scotland. Under regulations introduced this month aimed at 18, United Kingdom, Surrey, Elmbridge Council, Action Fund launched to help tackle climate change. BBC, send your story ideas to Southeast Today at bbc.co.uk or WhatsApp us on 08081 002250. More on this story. Council to deter wood burning after DEFRA. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. A council in Surrey is launching an action fund for projects which help tackle the impact of climate change. Elmbridge Borough Council says the fund is for projects that make a tangible difference to education around carbon emissions and energy reduction. Up to £5,000 is available for each group to apply for through the new Elmbridge Community Climate Action Fund. The council's cabinet member for environmental services said, projects driven by the community can make a huge difference to reduce the impact of climate change locally. Applications are being welcomed from nonprofit organizations or groups based in the borough that are primarily focused on serving local residents, such as village halls and sports clubs. The council said, since we declared a climate emergency in 2019, climate change and sustainability have been fundamental to our work, and we remain committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2030. The round of funding is open to applications until midnight on September 1st. 19A, India. Air pollution causes 33,000 deaths in Indian cities. Lancet, how to protect yourself amid. Only my health. Citing the Lancet research, the doctor said, the study highlights the correlation between short-term exposure to fine particulate matter, PM2.5, and 19B, India. Air pollution death spotlight need for health-based air quality standards. Mungabay, India. The current India National Ambient Air Quality Standards, NOx, set the safe limit of 24-hour exposure to particulate matter 2.5, PM2.5, at 60 micrograms per cubic meter. Razep view, the 24-hour NOx in the United States is currently set at 35 micrograms per cubic meter. 19C, India. Air pollution killing metro cities? Plus 1,500 deaths in Hyderabad. News, PM2.5, tiny harmful particles in the air. The World Health Organization, WHO, says safe levels of PM2.5 should be 15 micrograms per cubic meter. 19D, India, Delhi. Delhi to reopen schools as smog goes from worse to bad. Roya News, levels of PM2.5, the most harmful particulate matter that is responsible for chronic lung and heart disease, were still around 120 micrograms per cubic meter. 19E, India, Delhi, frying pan, wetland, gas chamber. Is it time for you to leave Delhi? Today News, Mint. PM2.5 is defined as fine particulate matter that can penetrate the lungs and enter the human body through the bloodstream, affecting major organs. 19F, India, Hyderabad. Hyde's killer air claims 5.5K lives in decade, ranked sixth among metros. Hyderabad News, Times of India. PM2.5 can increase the risk of lung cancer even in the non-smoking population. Children are most vulnerable to its harmful effects. India, Hyderabad. Raja Reetha clinches silver at La Plaine International Chess Championship. Hyderabad News, Times of India. Discover the concerning rise in air pollution-related deaths in Hyderabad due to high levels of PM2.5. Learn about the key factors contributing. 19G, India, PM2.5 and lung function. Exposure to particulate matter affects lung function and performance. A literature review. ResearchGate. Particulate matter, PM, is a type of air pollutant. July 2024. International Journal of Multidisciplinary Research and Analysis 707. DLI. 10.4719 IJMRA V7 I07-07. Ganesha University of Education. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Abstract. Air pollution has emerged as a significant peril to public health on a global scale, with around 5 million deaths occurring each year as a direct result of air pollution. The respiratory system mostly absorbs air contaminants, which then enter the alveoli and circulate in the bloodstream. Exposure to particulate matter, PM, the primary pollutant, 
can lead to acute inflammation of the respiratory tract and exacerbate pre-existing chronic lung inflammation. The extent of damage produced by particulate matter, PM, is determined by the manner in which the particles enter the lungs, including factors such as their aerodynamic diameter, ambient air velocity, and respiratory rate. Additionally, the manner in which the particles depart the lungs, involving processes such as nostril hair, mucociliary clearance, and macrophage phagocytosis, also plays a role in determining the damage caused. During periods of low air quality, particulate matter, PM, can negatively impact the immune system by causing damage to the bronchial mucociliary system. This damage makes it harder for the body to eliminate pathogens and leads to the release of inflammatory cytokines, which can harm lung epithelial cells and fibroblasts. Additionally, it inhibits intracellular communication within the gaps of the epithelial barrier, hence reducing its efficacy as a protective barrier for the lungs. The detrimental effects of PM can be attributed to oxidative stress caused by free radicals. PM has the ability to directly stimulate macrophages, leading to inflammation and an increase in the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS. Reactive oxygen species, ROS, impair antioxidant defenses and inflict damage on DNA, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. Lung function will decline as a result of bronchoconstriction, pulmonary edema, which leads to thickening of the alveolar capillaries, and fibrosis, which restricts lung expansion, caused by epithelial epithelial thickening. Based on the findings of much research, excessive influx of particles can lead to an excessive burden on the lungs, consequently impairing the respiratory system's defense capability and potentially resulting in lung damage. Higher levels of exposure to particulate matter are linked to a larger likelihood of reduced lung function. On the other hand, decreasing the amount of these particles that one is exposed to will reduce the danger. 20A, I, PM 2.5 and human health. 20A, PM 2.5 and cattle. Wildfire smoke exposure, potential consequences, and how to help affected cattle. AG Proud. The particulate matter, smaller than 2.5 micrometers. PM 2.5, figure 1. A mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets found in the air. 20B, PM 2.5 and cerebral palsy. Bad air quality and pregnancy hikes cerebral palsy risk in offspring. MedPage Today. Each increase of 2.7 micrograms per cubic meter for prenatal ambient PM 2.5. Association found between prenatal exposure to ambient air pollution and cerebral palsy. Medical Express. PM 2.5, concentration among all full-term births. JAMA Network Open, 2024. DLI, air pollution exposure in the womb may increase cerebral palsy risks, study warns. Aboutlawsuits.com particulate matter PM 2.5 is a type of air pollution made up of ultra-tiny particles of soot, dirt, and droplets. The particles are smaller than 2.5, PM 2.5, and cerebral palsy. Prenatal fine particulate matter exposure linked to cerebral palsy. Health Day, Friday, July 12, 2024. Prenatal ambient fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, exposure is associated with an increased risk for cerebral palsy. Is air pollutant exposure during pregnancy associated with infant cerebral palsy risk? News Medical. The weekly estimates of the concentrations of PM 2.5. 20C, PM 2.5 in commodities and municipal bylaws on residential wood smoke. Three commodity stories to watch out for in 2022. BNN Bloomberg. Burning wood in fires and stoves. Despite the harm to lungs, Lajil said that municipal bylaws on residential wood smoke have only been enacted in 20D, wood smoke PM 2.5 and human health. Wildfires and human health. Clinical pharmacy and pharmacology. JAMA Network. Wildfire smoke PM 2.5 can contain more carbon and polar organic compounds that cause oxidative stress than non-wildfire PM 2.5, making wildfire smoke PM 20E, PM 2.5 and lupus. Air pollutant exposure linked to increased risk for incident lupus. Health day. Particulate matter with a diameter less than or equal to 2.5 micrometer, PM 2.5, PM 2.5 and lupus. Genes, air pollution combined to raise lupus risk. MedPage today. Moreover, for those classified as having high genetic risk and who experienced high levels of four major pollutants, PM 2.5 and PM 10, particulates. 20F, PM 2.5, and natural gas cooking. It is time for policymakers to clear the air on gas cooking. Capital Weekly. Rosette View. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM 2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas cooking. Electric cooking emits no appreciable PM 2.5, 20G, PM 2.5, and obesity. The association between air pollution and obesity. An umbrella review of meta analyses. BMC Public Health. Biomed Central. Air pollutants include particulate matter PM 2.5, 20H, PM 2.5, and senior lost independence. Air pollution exposure tied to higher likelihood of lost independence among seniors. Health Day. Particulate matter less than 2.5 micrometer in diameter, PM 2.5 levels. Risk ratio 10 year mean. 20i, PM 2.5 and source contributions. Substantial differences in source contributions to carbon emissions and health damage. Nature. Here we show notable discrepancies between source contributions to CO2 emissions and fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, related mortality by using.